I mined 12 of the top GPU mineable coins on my graphics card for 3 days each and this is how much money I made. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto or your personal information. Alright, so please be careful, use your common sense and don't let any of these imposters fool you. Alright, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And I actually didn't mine them on this card. I did it on one of my mining rigs over there. But still, what I did was I looked up the 12 sort of most profitable GPU mineable coins on what to mine, which is a website for checking, you know, mining profitability on different coins. And then I just mined them for three days each to then sort of compare how much money I made mining each of these separate coins as well as the difference in what I actually mined versus what what to mine said that I would mine. So let's get right into it but first a quick word from our sponsor. Wadom. If you want to get into proper Bitcoin mining then Wadom has you covered. From the latest ASIC miners, mobile mining containers and power transformers to complete hosting services and even full facility buildouts. Wadom is the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States with a team of over 100 mining experts ready to help you out. So check them out through wadom.io forward slash seb or in the link in the video description. All right, so this is what I was mining on. It is my rig of six identical RTX 3070s. They're all non-LHR, uh, which doesn't really matter anymore since the unlock. But anyway, so what I did was I mined a separate coin on each GPU for three days. And then I swapped all GPUs to another lot of six coins and did another three days. So for example, this card did Ethereum for three days, this card did Ravencoin for three days, this card did Ergo for three days and so on. And then after three days, I swapped all of the cards over and then maybe like this one did Ethereum Classic for three days, this one did Aeon for three days and so on. You get the point. All right, so before we get into the actual results here, I just wanna open a package that I got from Altered Component. Uh, he's a fellow mining content creator here on YouTube. He has a really cool channel, so you should definitely go check him out, but yeah. Without further ado, let's see, let's see what's in this thing. All right, so first of all, oh, there's a bit of a letter here. Oh, I dropped something. Check this out, guys. Awesome altered component stickers, both hollow and regular. Thank you so much, altered component. And there's a letter here from him. So I'll just read it out. It says, Seb, it's a great day to be a miner. I just wanted to thank you for being a part of the great mining community and content creation community with me. Well, thank you very much, all the components. My pleasure. Um, you're one of those genuine people that truly care about the space and the people within it. Enclosed is a special item and the same model that I use in most of my unboxings. May your unboxings be plentiful and your efficiency be king, my friend. RGB knife, engage from all the components. All the component. Thank you so much. I think I, I think I have a uh, a little bit of a clue what's actually in here. But let me open this up because if it is, then I'm very excited. What this might be. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. It is what I thought it would be. Check this out, guys. RGB knife engage. That is so awesome. That'll make my unboxings so much cooler from now on. So yeah, thank you so much again, Alter Component and everyone. Please go check out his channel. It's really awesome if you like mining content like what I do here on my channel. All right, so what I also did was I took my results and I compared them to what what to mine which is a website where you can check mining profitability, said that I would make. So I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, this is whattomine.com and what I did was I basically just selected 13070 like this and then I turned on the coins that I would mine or rather the coin algorithms that I knew I would be mining so these are a few of them and then I just here where you can see sort by I selected profitability three days and average lost three days for the revenue and then I hit calculate so basically what I'm checking here is I mine for three days and then after I was done mining for three days, I check and I see how much does what to mine say that I should have made for those past three days so that I can compare the two. And then obviously I just took the results here and I added them into the spreadsheet of my results. So without further ado, let's hop into that spreadsheet of results. And here that is. So you can see all of the coins that I mined here. 
uh, you can see the yield that what to mine said that I would get for the three days that I mined. So the yield is basically the amount of that coin that you actually end up mining for yourself, right? And then you can see that in contrast with what I actually mined, the real yield, so to speak. And then here I've got the difference and we'll talk about profitability in just a second here. But first I just want to have a look here at the differences between what to mine and how much I actually yielded mining these coins for real. And I should also note that what I did was I tweaked all of my overclock settings so that I could match the hash rate specified by what to mine as closely as possible. So for example, on you know Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, I, I did almost like down tune my 3070s a little bit because I get like 62 and a half mega hash. So I basically just uh, limited them a little bit so that they would get only 60 mega hash. Same thing for all of the other coins here. I made sure I only got 27.6 on Ravencoin, which is the core power algorithm and so on. You get what I mean. So, you know, theoretically, my yield should perfectly match what it said on what to mine, right? But as you can see here, the difference is actually sometimes pretty substantial. So if we sort by, you know, best to worst, we can see that for eternity, we ended up with about 10% more coin than specified by what to mine. Uh, what to mine specified about 33 Aeon, uh, eternity coins, while we actually ended up with 36 eternity coins. So pretty nice there. And the biggest loser here, unfortunately, I have no idea why it's this bad, but it's Aeon where you know, Motomine said we would get 91, almost 92, but we only ended up with less than 73 here. So about 19 less than we should have. And you can see all other coins were fairly close. Actually, let me let me add percentages here. All right, so I added the percentage difference here. And if we sort by that from best to worst, we can see here, um, actually, just, actually both Bitcoin Gold and Eternity um, pretty big winners in terms of, you know, expected yield versus real yield here. Um, then we have a bunch of them that's like a little bit better, like around 5% better on Firo, Conceal, Ethereum Classic and normal Ethereum. Uh, we then have a few of them that's like a little bit less than specified on what to mine, namely Ravencoin and Conflux. Uh, we then have Flux, which was a little bit less. And then both Super Zero and Ergo were actually you know, 10% less, which is significant in my opinion. But then obviously uh, Aeon with almost 21% less than specified by Watermine. So I don't know if this is just a fluke or down to luck or the pool had a bad couple of days or whatever, but I thought it was worth mentioning at least. So let's move on from just how much we yielded in comparison with Watermine and start looking at actual profitability for mining these coins on your graphics cards, right? So, as you can see here, um, I've listed the current dollar, you know, profit margin or revenue, I should say, right? Uh, and basically what this is, is if you took the coins you mined um, and you sold them today at today's price when I'm recording this, which is the 17th of June. So if we just sort there by best to worst, we can see that the best is actually eternity. Now, of course, keep in mind that to mine on these cards, they do use up some electricity, which costs money in most cases, right? So just keep that in mind. And also with how coin prices go up and down very often, um, using the sort of like daily price to measure sort of long-term profitability is not gonna be that accurate because who knows tomorrow, eternity could be worth half as much and then it would be in you know, second to last place rather than first place. So, so just take these numbers with a grain of salt here. Um, but there you go, you can see best was Eternity, second best was Ergo. So even though the difference there was like 10% worse, um, it's still in second spot for profitability. So that's something to keep in mind, I guess. Um, but what's more sort of like interesting to me is this next column, which is what if instead of, you know, selling them at today's price, you were to either, you know, time travel back in time and sell them whenever the coin hit its peak value in 2021, 
uh, or I guess hold on to the coin now going forward in hopes of that the coin price will hit that value one more time again in the future and sell it at that point. To me, what this shows is maybe more the potential of the coin. Now, not financial advice, obviously, as nothing in any of my videos ever. Uh, but I think it's just a fun little thought experiment here of, you know, what if you sold it at the all time high instead of the current price, right? So here we can see a quite different story here. Uh, as we can see, Ethereum is still the sort of third best here. Uh, but if we sort by selling at the 2021 peak, Ethereum ends up at the absolute bottom there at just $10.76 for the three days. While at the top, we see Conflux at almost $74 for the three days, which is absolutely absurd. And you would have to, I guess, be extremely lucky to mine a coin, a specific coin like Conflux like that, hold it and then manage to sell it at a peak like that. But it is something that can be done theoretically, right? Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a very interesting thing to look at here. So as we can see, Ethereum is kind of really towards the bottom here. And then we have most of the coins here kind of hovering around, you know, between around 20 to $40. And then of course, Conflux right at the top there. And then here towards the end, you can see how much power they consume mining and then what that power cost would be. This is actually power cost per day. So maybe I should update this, uh, but there you go. You can do just times three for all of them. But yeah, those are the results. What do you think? Now, if you found this video helpful, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me. So thank you. But what you got to do now is you got to click on that next video on the screen. Because this video is over, you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.